Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is the Vikings Garage. And on today's episode, we are yet again going to make some more improvements to the 4Runner. We will go on the dashboard. You got yourself two uh, tweeter speakers. And we're going to go from a 1-inch tweeter speaker to a 3.5-inch speaker that comes with a built-in tweeter. First, I want to go ahead and install that on that. So that's a Mitsubishi Evo wing available in Japan only. And yeah, this is a Mitsubishi wagon. Get that out of the way and we get this thing out of the way, which I have not started in over two months. We'll get a cold start for you guys. Well, this thing definitely uh, seen better days. Interesting to see it naked though. Yeah, as far as the wing, there's a comparison. Could have left it alone, and yes, I did paint it in my garage. But you know what? It ain't gonna make a difference because the paint job on this car is, well, yeah. It's great, it's great, it's great. And just like that, we just gained another five horsepower. Look at that. Uh, I think it looks a lot better this way. Complements the back a little bit. What do you guys think? I know you didn't come here for this, so let's get cracking, move these cars out of the way. After a few months of sitting, what do you guys think? Will it start on the first shot? Let's find out. And for all of you out there that are going to attempt to do this job at home, this is super simple. As you can see, I laid it all out. This is all you're going to need. The toughest part about this is finding your ever-elusive 10 millimeter socket. As you can see, I was successful in that after 15 minutes of a search. Uh, you're going to need, of course, your jumper wires. And these are the speakers I went with. They're, of course, three and a half, as you can see, with the built-in tweeter. So... Uh, there's the brand goes without saying all the links will be in the description down below and of course I saved the best for last These are the brackets that you are going to need and they are label guys to make your life easier So you got a D please excuse the messy hands The mess was of course from replacing that wing and you got a P P for passenger and D for driver to make your life a lot easier. So once you go ahead, go ahead, separate them to make your life easier. That way you're not fighting with it. And I do, of course, want to take this opportunity to thank Brent. Brent reached out to me. Brent is one of my viewers and he pitched me this idea. And as always, guys, I'm more than glad to help because you know what? He's a one man operation. Lost for words here. It is so cold. I don't know if you guys can tell. He's a one man operation. He does these on the weekends. So please do click in that link down below. Go support him. He's a super nice guy. And you know what? I can tell that these are going to fit perfectly. But let's go ahead and continue with the installation and see how they look in the truck. Before we go ahead and install these speakers, guys, just want to give you guys a little FYI. Uh, on the instructions for the installation, there is a mention about soldering into the positive side. A bass blocker, as you can see, this one comes with it is a little cylinder thing attached to the speaker there. So just be aware of that I'm going to, of course, give you the link for the speakers that I purchased and it clearly comes with it already. To me, I'm all about less amount of work for you guys, the better. As far as the pins, as you can see, you got a bigger and a smaller one on the other side and super simple, bigger and smaller one 
So it's pretty simple. But let's go ahead and install this on the truck. The very first step is, of course, grab your trim tool and slide it like so. And this literally, with a twisting motion, will pop right up. <laughs> Maybe not. Persistence, I suppose. Sometimes you gotta have it in the right place, like so. And you wanna do it, same exact thing over there. Once you're done with that, you can just pop this back up. As you can see, two clips only. Installation, you insert it like so in to those slots. Now to remove it, word to the wise, me personally, I get these out in the car first. Of course, just like everything else, try to wrench away from the glass. Uh, I tell you to take these out first because they are, as you saw right there, really hard to take off, especially if you take it out with the bracket. But let's go ahead, take the tweeter out and then the bracket off. And when everything is said and done, this is what you're left with. You got yourself a little speaker there and your bracket. So let's go ahead and do a quick comparison. I am, of course, going to save mine. But, uh, yeah, when you try to overlap them, it does appear that we are losing one screw here as a mounting point. But we will all discover this together. But it seems like it's something along these lines. What I'm going to go ahead and do, I mean, check out the difference between one and the other. It is clearly much, much bigger. Uh, I will, of course, give you guys a comparison. I don't know how much sound I'm going to be able to get through the speakers without getting a copyright issue. So please forgive me on that one. It's totally not by my own choice. If it was up to me, I'd be rocking some really cool tunes for you guys. But... You guys know how that goes, but enough of my gibberish. Let's go ahead and mount the speaker to this bracket first. Small little update here. Um, this is basically the way you want to mount the speaker before heading to the car. Exactly as you see it here. And yes, as you can see, I ended up improvising because the hole on this guy is much smaller than the screws that come out of the original bracket, which is these two guys they mount there. So... Very small inconvenience, but not a problem. As you can see, I've compromised and placed the screw there. And you want to leave both this and that guy open because these will be your mounting points to the actual dashboard in which you will utilize the screws you removed earlier. And as you can see, guys, this is, again, which I'm a big fan of, plug and play. There you go. Here for the click. Double check. It's in place, ain't going nowhere. So then you just feed it down the hole and let's go ahead and mount our speaker. Should look a little something like this once it's mounted. And again, as you guys can see, that screw is not in place because small inconvenience, but again, not a deal breaker. This is your stock screw. As you can see, I went ahead and went on my stash, found the screw of similar thickness, but ever so slightly taller because of this one because of the way the adapter was designed it doesn't quite reach the section in which it uh, attaches to so uh, it's probably wise if on your search for that screw you find them both to be slightly taller as you will have room on this side as well and this should go in, not a problem. And as you can see, after everything is said and done, you have found yourself the correct screws. This is basically what you're looking at. Uh, also, keep in mind, let's try to show you the best angle here, that on your cover, trim cover here, this section uh, is just about gonna be touching the speaker. So with a Dremel, I'm not gonna bore you guys with that, uh, go ahead and shave this down a little bit and you should be good to go. But now let's go ahead and give you guys a much needed comparison. 
So let's test these things out. Let's see how much of a difference we actually get from one to the other. Now, let me know in the comments down below, how cool would it be if we could just jam out to a tune right now? Some Tool, some Pantera, Alice in Chains, I don't know, Pearl Jam. But unfortunately, guys, copyright doesn't let us. So uh, Vikings Garage intro it is. Super cool for those of you that might not know how to do this. I'm actually going to make the sound focus mainly on the front just to emphasize this entire process i don't know if that comes through on camera but we just moved it all the way to the front right and you can actually now focus just on that one speaker which is what we're going to do so now let's go ahead and do the stock one And would you look at that outfitting, guys? It is actually snowing here in New Jersey as I wrap up this video. I hope you did find it informative. As always, I appreciate you guys spending the time with me improving our trucks. If you have any suggestions, as always, don't forget to leave them in the comments down below. But in the meantime, guys, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for watching. I want to wish you all a happy new year. And I will catch you guys on the next one.